hey guys uh welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm i'm gonna be talking about um breaker block pattern the ict breaker block pattern i'm sure most of you are familiar with ict's work the inner circle trader i'm sure you are you know uh, everything about ict if you don't make sure that you subscribe to his um youtube channel um it's called the inner circle trader so um guys today i'm just gonna be stating a few things about the ict block pattern things that you i think you should know and uh yeah so the ict breaker block it's more i can explain it like what uh it's more like uh a failed order block or a failed demand or supply zone so let me get to it and not waste your time so when the market moves you should know this as a trader when the market moves it creates lows highs higher lows higher highs higher lows and higher highs and um, when it creates such if one gets violated and um, it breaks the bias of the market changes the direction of the market changes eventually so what you should do when that happens you have to make sure that okay you are ready in your mind you are ready that okay when uh, this point if the market breaks this point i'm going to be looking for sales if it breaks this point i'll be looking for buys so what, what i'll be doing today it's more of the same thing but trading using the breaker block pattern so on the next videos i'll be assisting you with supply and demand order blocks and all these other things that i think will help you in your trading journey so right here i'm going to show you an example so let's say we have a low right here right and then the market rallies to the upside then it creates a high and then reverses approaching the low that it created but it does what it does not cross that low instead of crossing that low it reverses and then it goes to the upside it then violates the high that it created the most recent high that it created then it takes out that high after taking out that high it does what it reverses to the downside breaking structure now what you should understand is the reason why the market violated this high is because there are buy stops above these highs right what i'm talking about buy stops is people have pending orders here buy pending orders so obviously when you have pending orders right here you're going to put your stop loss below right so what the market is trying to do it's trying to trigger those buy stops so that it can come back later to clear the liquidity below. So obviously when you put your stop losses here, there will be a tons and tons of liquidity, right? So that is what the market is trying to tell you that there are buy stops and below these buy stops, there will be tons and tons of liquidity. Obviously the market will come back and seek that liquidity and as a trader you just have to be patient and wait for a break of structure and confirmation then you can start trading and uh, looking for yourselves or your buys right so right here we have a high which was violated the buy stops were triggered and then the liquidity was grabbed right when the market moved to the downside now as it as as an institutional trader what you have to do is look for a break of structure a break of structure will be the higher low that will be violated that will be our break of structure now you mark your breaker block how do you mark off your breaker block you take the last down candle before the move that violated the high or the move that triggered the buy stops and cleared that liquidity right so what you have to do after the break of structure you wait for the market 
to return to your breaker block after that when it leaves something like this you go to your smaller time frame such as m5 or m1 then you look for something like that and then you enter your trade based on the cell module on smaller time frames so i'm not going to waste your time i'm going to show you um when you are trading with the ICT breaker block if you are looking for getting rich quick guys don't chase pips just make sure that your RR is good your risk reward ratio is good that is what I do I don't actually you know chase pips so let's say I, I want to target 100 pips each day no that's that's bullshit to be honest because that will lead you to what it will lead you to blowing your account and that is not what we are looking for so what we're looking for it's entering trades based on being in the uh, safe side of the market don't enter trades because you think it will sell what if it doesn't sell what if it goes up mitigates this supply and then goes up goes down i mean and then what what will happen to you what will happen to your account your account will either get blown away or it will hit stop loss you know if you do set your stop loss so that is not what we want so what i was showing you it's how to trade the ict breaker block and uh, you do the opposite with bullish market there will be a high okay there will be a high then there will be a low then down here instead of buy stops it will be sell stops right here it will be sell stops then after the market clears this sell stops people will be putting their sell limits not sell limits um they will be putting their sell stops just below okay they will be putting their sell stops right here and then their stop losses will be just above above these sell stops and then eventually the market will do what the market will reverse taking out their uh their stop losses breaking structure and then it will leave a breaker block how do you mark off your bullish breaker block you mark the last up candle before the strong move to the downside which cleared the sell stops and which cleared the liquidity then you mark off your breaker block you wait for price to return to your breaker block then you go to a small time frame to get confirmation and then you enter so i'm going to show you on a live chat on how to actually capitalize your risk reward ratio when trading the ict breakup block so is this the one yeah this is the one so right here as i've said we have a low right then we have a high price comes and clears this low it takes out the sell stops that were here and then stop losses will be here obviously there will be tons of liquidity then the market reverses as you can see then goes down a bit then what happens it goes up it breaks structure then we'll have a break of structure around around yeah around here and then what you should do you mark your last up candle before the move to the downside which cleared uh, the sell stops and liquidity just like that and then your entry is going to be right here your entry will be right here and then stop loss just below and then your target will be based on the most recent high which will be this one here then you set your target just like that tp hit risk reward ratio 5.09 just
just like that when you are looking for sales you do the opposite just like i've mentioned do the opposite guys do the opposite so we have a high then we have a low the market goes up clears the highs clears the buy stops the liquidity when it comes back then it does what it breaks structure after breaking the structure you mark your breakup block after marking your breakup block execution only execute on smaller time frames don't use higher time frames because the stop losses will be wide so we need to enter with small stop losses and um, i hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video if you did please make sure that you subscribe comment if you have any questions regarding this video please make sure that you ask so that i can reply if you would like follow me on instagram i have uh, about 6850 followers and uh, these are some of the trades that i took uh, just like here gbp usd 6.3 rr I took this breakup block trade right here as you can see and then yeah I won just like that it's easy super easy actually so if you'd like to join my team just make sure that you contact me on Instagram I'll reply if you have any questions you can also in inbox me on on you can DM me on on Instagram uh, mostly active there any questions that you have regarding the video or regarding anything that it, that has to do with trading just make sure that you hit my dm i'll respond and thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video and thanks